Hi, this is Andy Bicking at Sina Cutson, and we're here with Senator Sue Serino from the 41st Senate District. Sue, how are you doing today? Very good, Andy. How are you? Doing well. Thanks so much for joining us for our uh, virtual Earth Day celebration this year. We're really excited to get a chance to talk to you and just had a few questions about the environment. And yeah, the first is, you know, it's been about 50 years since the first Earth Day when citizens came together to advocate for a healthier world. And now more than ever, I think we're seeing people outside enjoying nature, um, really for its calm and health. So it's just so clear that the environment means so much to so many people. I'm wondering what it means to you on a personal level and uh, why it's important. You know, I, having spent most of my life here in the Hudson Valley and um, our beautiful majestic Hudson River is so peaceful and we love it. You know, it's interesting, right? When we go away, it's always so nice to come home because we absolutely live in a beautiful area. And, you know, when you think about Earth Day, like I think it's the little things that make the big differences. And I think that's what happened years ago. Um, you know, people started to make little changes and you make little changes in your life. Like one of them for me is going to my dry cleaner and asking her not to put the plastic on. And um, so she doesn't, she wishes more people would do it. And that's something that we're trying to work on. Um, but it is those little changes that really make a big difference. And those are the things that I think it's like habit, right? If you start to do something differently and then you start to also notice other people do things like that as well. And I think it's really important. Yeah, you know, that's so true. And what you said made me think about my kids who are both teenagers now. But I remember when they were little, we'd take them out for walks. That simple act of picking up a piece of trash helps kind of really make them aware of, you know, the world that they're connected to and what they can do to help make it a better place. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, today with what's going on with the COVID too, it's so nice to live here in the Hudson Valley and be able to go outside and enjoy uh, nature because we've had to think differently, right? Like so many now with the kids inside where kids going to school normally would come in, go on their um, games on the TV. And now since they're inside all day, you know, with their doing their homework and stuff with their parents, homeschooling, which is a whole new challenge, being able to go outside and enjoy the weather and, and just the scenery, I think is something that's so good for people's mental health that they need to do that. It's so important. Yeah, it's so true. And I think Sina Cutson feels so proud of the parks that we have, um, many of which are in your district. And you know, yes. making them available to people uh, feels like such an important thing right now. And you know what you said about um, the area we live in is so true. And I'm just thinking about your district and how special it is. You've got the beautiful Hudson Highlands, you know, of course, the Appalachian Mountains to the south. You've got the fertile farmland of northern Dutchess County. You've got some real incredible um, historic sites and parks kind of in the middle of your district. And of course, the Hudson River, which runs all along its um, western edge. Yeah, I'm wondering um, what your experience has been in the Senate kind of uh, really being a steward for those resources. And if there's any accomplishments um, that you have in your career that you're most proud of on the environmental front. Well, I think fighting the Anchorage proposal, um, you know, when that happened, it, I'm a person that likes to hear from everybody. I like to meet with people face to face. And it was great. I had the opportunity with Congressman Chris Gibson uh, to meet with the Coast Guard and be able to ask questions that I, as a voter, you know, like one of my questions was, if you were to do this, would the um, barges be able to tie up together like boats? And he couldn't answer that question. So exactly what people were afraid of, making the Hudson River a parking lot, was something that could have possibly happened. And I can't thank you enough, Andy, and Scenic Hudson for coming uh, to us with the idea. And I brought it with Dee Dee, and we were able to pass the bill and I, I remember all the meetings that we had and the people came out in with thousands of people signing petitions, the meetings. I mean, they made their voices heard. That we didn't want that. And I can't thank you enough for playing a major role in helping us accomplish that. Well, thank you. And we couldn't have done it about your leadership and the, the whole community effort to keep, you know, big oil barges out of the Hudson River, kind of really parking there for literally what could have been months at a time 
was a, a huge victory. And I, I think it's a, a good testament to how much the people in your district care about the river and the environment. Oh, so, they do, yeah. Looking forward, are, are there any um, goals that you have and things that you want to be um, working on on the environmental front? You know, before all this COVID, right, I think this is what we're going to be saying before COVID, after COVID, but we were moving towards a, a greener economy. And I think moving forward, working with the business community and bringing people of all ages that are working, I think we can come up with some great ideas uh, so we do protect our environment and keep our community moving forward uh, with protecting the environment. I think that's going to be something that uh, I look forward to working on. That sounds great. Well, can't wait to see uh, what you come up with there. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking time. Uh, we hope you stay safe and healthy and yeah. look forward to um, meeting again in person in Albany sometime. Yeah. And, and something else I thought of yesterday too, environmental health and public health go hand in hand. And I think people are going to see that like we were talking earlier about the mental health aspect of this. I think it's so important that we can enjoy our environment right now where people can take solace in that. So true. Uh, all right. Thank you, Andy. Thanks again.